Hello, I'm Jake Burke. And I'm Joe Eichstead. And I am Josef Kowalski. And today, we're going to discuss how to make your very own negative Poisson ratio material. But before we get into negative Poisson ratio materials, it is important to fully understand the concept of conventional positive Poisson's ratio. In 1811, French mathematician Simone Denis Poisson published Traite de Mécanique, or On the Mechanics of Materials, which among other things, described the way materials react to external forces. One such reaction he described was known as Poisson's ratio. Poisson's ratio, or the change in lateral strain over axial strain, can be seen in our figure here below. As the longitudinal direction gets stretched outward, the lateral direction compresses inward. In this demonstration, a hair tie is pulled tight, and as one would expect, the hair tie will compress in the lateral direction. And if we were able to compress this hair tie, it would bulge out. One practical application of Poisson's ratio is a cork in a bottle, which must be easily inserted and removed while withstanding the pressure from within the bottle. A positive Poisson ratio material, such as rubber, with a Poisson's ratio of 0.5, could not be used for this purpose because it would expand when compressed into the neck of the bottle and then jam. Cork, by contrast, with a Poisson's ratio of nearly zero, does not expand when compressed and is thus ideal for this application. Now for some engineering applications. Poisson's ratio materials have uses in the automotive and aerospace industries. A favorite structure of these industries is the honeycomb structure. It is advantageous in that having air gaps in the structure allow for the material to have a lower weight overall due to the air gaps. A traditional material would have a solid bumper of steel which you can imagine has a higher weight than a structure with air gaps. Typically, the structures exhibit a positive Poisson's ratio. Now on to negative Poisson's ratio materials, otherwise known as auxetic materials. These materials are abnormal in nature. Unlike prior examples, their behavior is opposite to what you've seen in the prior demonstrations. As you can see in the slides of a conventional material, as I pull a material outward, it'll compress inward. In an auxetic material, if I were to pull my material outward, it would expand outward as well. Some interesting characteristics about auxetic materials are high energy absorption, high fracture resistance, and low density. While this auxetic behavior may seem quite exotic, negative Poisson ratio has actually been observed in nature. In a study by Gatt et al., human and pig Achilles tendons were found to have negative Poisson ratios within their normal range of motion. An engineering application of an auxetic structure is a car jounce bumper. Pictured on the left is a traditional jounce bumper, and on the right is a negative Poisson ratio jounce bumper. According to a ScienceDirect.com study from 2016, these have excellent viscoelasticity characteristics to absorb impact energy. Compared with traditional Jones bumpers, this auxetic design can achieve similar mechanical behavior but with a smoother load displacement and greater shock absorption. Other applications of auxetic materials include protective headgear and body armor. These applications are useful for shock absorption and dispersion of energy throughout the structure. Some novel applications include shoes to get interesting sparkles from the way light hits the material, and dresses because of the way the material contracts and expands as someone's walking. Now that we have a solid understanding of negative Poisson's ratio, it's time to make our own auxetic structure. First, we must design a singular basic structure that can be repeated and will deform as desired. One common auxetic structure is the hourglass, shown here. This simple 2D pattern can easily be constructed in a 3D CAD software, as shown. Analysis of an auxetic hourglass structure. Notice on the left, there is a tension deformation. On the right, a compression deformation. 
The changing colors represent how the deformation is changing. The deformation in this structure is consistent with a negative Poisson's ratio material. The basic hourglass structure was manufactured using a 3D printer and NinjaFlex material. Testing of the printed structures validated the desired auxetic deformation and was used to determine the ideal height of the full composite structure. The following bow tie structure is tested on the left in compression with a thicker specimen and on the right in tension with the thinner specimen. Now that our hourglass is validated, we can create a larger structure by combining multiple hourglasses into one composite structure. Once again, the 2D drawing was used as a template for the 3D CAD model. Analysis of a large-scale auxetic hourglass structure in compression and tension. Notice how in the first example and subsequent example, the deformation is spread across the entire structure. This validates the behavior of a negative Poisson's ratio material. As with our hourglass structure, the composite structure was constructed with a 3D printer and NinjaFlex material. Now with our full structure printed, we can demonstrate the full structure in tension and compression. Similar to our singular hourglass, the composite structure exhibits the typical negative Poisson ratio characteristics of an auxetic material. Now that you have a solid understanding of the auxetic design process, it's time for you to go try it yourself. You can start with the hourglass or any of these basic auxetic structures. You can even try to design your own auxetic pattern. Up for a challenge? Try taking your 2D pattern to the next dimension by creating a 3D auxetic structure such as the ones pictured. Good luck and have fun. Coming out to the ladder table.